talking about creativity and innovation, how do we get people to access their creativity better? Do you want to say something about bricolage? Or? Yeah, bricolage. The article that Angus gave to me was three business academics who were talking about how it could be helpful in their business. Bricolage is something that is being used almost in every field. There is a certain freedom as an artist that you might not have in a world in which you are uh, on the line every day. We all know that agility is really a big deal for businesses to succeed. Following your intuition without knowing. Dealing with change. Exactly where you're going. How fast can you deal with change? Make connections between disparate things. Flexibility and agility are two different things. The idea of taking things around you that you might repurpose. We all show agility. When you need something to extend your opportunities in your business. We had very limited time. And you only have a certain number of materials so you only have a limited budget. We trusted each other as teammates. And so where do you go? How do you come up with ideas? To find stuff that we could put together. You make something, develop out of things that never had that kind of function for you prior to that. To build something. Now how do we make it into an assignment? Take your piece. It has a cohesiveness to it. Oh my God. Wow. Sometimes less is more. <laughs> this could be an instrument. Who's this? Bob Dylan. He's the brickler. He's iterating. He's, he's taking something, he's putting it together, he's rearranging the parts, and he's finding, searching for what he's looking for. I look for a place to <laughs> bathe my bird, buy my dog, collect my clip. So, how do we bring what we're going to do together from diverse um, objects? <laughs> I mean, it's still bricolage. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to inhibit the competitive spirit, yet we don't want that to interfere with creative work. Just cut it off and take it. We're looking for a piece that will bring any number of kind of responses. There's something that might be uh, provocative. Perfect. Creates awe, a wonder. There might be a functional thing that you want to make. It's actually functional. So we're looking for something that has a presence. You may start with an idea. Fabric and drum. The idea either doesn't work out, but you want to stop this from doing this. Or another idea supplants it. You're protecting the books. So you have to allow for the idea to change. There's a story behind it. But you need a place to start. Then you're just going to go to work. Questions? What is art, what is not art? What do you think we can actually potentially learn from what art is? What is really the difference and what can we learn for our jobs about art? I have never said we're making art. I don't know what art is. I know what art has been, but I don't know what it is. This is about trying to access your creativity. Art for me has several thousand years of intellectual tradition that you can't just sort of mm -hmm. show up and say, hey, artist. I have much to learn about art from you. Not to discriminate what, with what isn't good enough, but actually do what you guys are doing. You're appreciating those little details which I dismiss. Finding lessons of wisdom in those little things we discard. For me, it's not so much about creating art in this class, but engaging in a different process of value creation than what we are used to doing at work. In the Strauss article, he talks about two distinct strategies for value creation. The first one is that of the engineer, uh, or the modern man. Do you think it'll work? Where is this attached? I mean... And that's a strategy by which you first have an idea in your head, and then you go out and you find the resources that you need to realize that idea. That's limiting because that's limited by the idea in and of itself. The second strategy, which is the process that we're engaging here, is that of the bricolore, or of the savage man. No rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. Which looks at just what's available and creates something out of that. There are less limitations in that engagement. Christmas in Sweden? The distinction between the process of exploration and exploitation. I just like the drilling. Exploration is what we're used to at work. That of the engineer of the modern man. And I guess you're trying to turn us back to savage man. Don't think too much about the object. Could you tell us 
how you perceive creativity being part of business today. One of the things that art can do is it can, it can teach you to look, it can teach you to see, it can teach you to observe. If you can see opportunities that other people don't see, that's how you create value. If you see more possibilities out there, you create more opportunities for yourself and you can create more value that way. You turn that around in a really interesting way. And just thinking about how you can proletize the idea of business the same way we're proletizing the idea of art, what it is and trying to define it. I mean, we have the opportunity to redefine what business could be. It's a creative process, just like art is a creative process. And if you kind of approach it on that level, it can become whatever you need it to become. What if we made it, one of the classmates asked me if I would do something like this sort of exercise back at work. I totally would. I would take the software engineer who doesn't like to talk to the hardware engineer, put them in a room and say, guess what? This is what you've got. Build something together. Go! Oh! <laughs> we created something new over things that have already been created. And the same thing in management, we've been hearing about it, about it this past 10 days. Oh, wow. 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 That's wonderful. Oh, wow. Everything about management has already been created, but we can create upon that, on top of that. Once you cut it, then it springs. It's like so a catapult. You can use things and still be creative on management. So I don't know if professors are doing this on purpose, but I'm thankful for that. <laughs>